For the day, I have for you a Dollar Tree DIY. Welcome back to the channel and I am so glad to have all the new subscribers that I have so I wanted to say thank you first of all um, so today I'm going to be making you a Dollar Tree a DIY it could run you from anywhere to five to ten dollars but no more than ten it just depends on what you want to put in yours I'm going to be showing you different ways to do this um, so first of all I wanted to start out with this hula hoop y'all know don't pay a mind because we have not built the wall in here yet I'm going to be building the wall within the next two to three weeks um, to separate the kids' room from my office. As y'all know, um, we are going, I keep my office in the girls' room and we kind of half up this room. So you're right now you're seeing like this and we're going to do a declutter of my makeup because this is all my makeup and it's just a mess and it's broke. Um, so anyways, on with the DIY. Um, so don't pay attention to the background, pay attention here, girl. Um, anyways, um, that was just a side note. Um, we're going to take one of Dollar Tree's smaller hula hoops. The beads are driving me insane right now. Um, I don't really like that noise. It's, ugh, it's cringing to me. need one of Dollar Tree's hula hoops. Um, you can take this little plastic if you want. I'm not going to. And you'll also, you'll be needing the burlap, um, I think they're nine feet. Yeah, nine feet uh, ribbon um, to begin. I'm going to start by taking it and wrapping it around. got this completely covered I know you can hear the little beads in there um I have a ton I did have from a uh, two rolls I did have a pretty decent size leftover so I can make a bow out of this just a simple regular bow out of this and use it on there um I bought these lemons at a um local 99 cent store for a dollar they're it's just a dollar store kind of very similar to Dollar Tree everything is one dollar inside of there where we live at locally and these were in there you got three little plastic styrofoam type lemons for a dollar um i also have a bunch i have only found one of dollar trees wildflowers so i'm on a hunt for these um i would love love to find many more of these but this is the only one that i found and um I have some ferns and different things that I had um, on hand that I was going to use. So I'm going to show you the first one that I'm really, really excited for. This is a piece that um, last year we got on clearance and it's supposed to go on the outside um, of, uh, what do you call it? The outside of the house. It has like a little screw in piece. So I guess I didn't realize when I bought it, it was broke like that. So I bought it, um, not on clearance, I bought it at yard sale to be honest. Um, and so I'm just, it's really heavy. This is metal. There is some metal ones that you can get at Dollar Tree. I'll insert a picture um, and show it to you. Um, you can buy like the little um, hanging things and they're metal also. So I thought it would look cute if I just put this here and then put the ferns on each one of the sides like so let me see if i can get it to do how i had it while ago because it's kind of hard to show you so kind of like well i'm struggling girl struggling so it will kind of look like this right here and it would be at the very bottom and just the plain hoop at the top I think this is very cute. I don't know if this is what I'm going to go with because this door, this is actually going to go on my very front door. Um, you could use the lemons if you wanted to. Um, the endless are, the possibilities are endless. Um, I thought also the lemons look good with the ferns. You could put the ferns and then obviously you need to make sure they're straightened out and everything. And then you could put three lemons right here at the bottom. I just thought there's many, many opportunities that you could go in with. 
and see how it looks. So I'm just going to use um, what I already have on hand, obviously, because I bought these way before. I've had these ferns for a while, to be honest. Um, um, we were probably one of the first stores that started getting them, and I noticed them, and my husband's like, they look real. And I just have a picture in my dining room that these go with. And um, so I have a set in the dining room in those. And then I have um, two extra ones. So I think I really love that flower idea because I think it just it screams summer. And um, I just like that. And I like the lemon too. So I could obviously make more of these. See, Sophia? Possibilities are endless. I just took out a bunch of things to show you that you could... Do really what you want with it. Um, so lemons. They are lemons. So I'm going to probably just do it like I told y'all with the ferns and that. So let's calculate up right now how much it would cost. If you bought the two ferns, they do have, excuse me, although mine is free. Um, well, technically not free. I don't think I paid like a, yeah, these are just a bunch of flowers that I took out just to see what I thought about it. But the wreath itself, just a plain wreath like this, only costs you $3. And then if you decide to add what you want to add to it, mine only cost me $3, $4, 5 $6 to make mine. Because I think I paid a dollar for this last year. I just cannot remember. Um, and you can get one like this at Dollar Tree. It's not exactly like this, but you can get a metal flower like this. It's a chime, I think. And you could just take the things off of it and it would be the same exact thing. So, if you were to make this wreath, it would only cost you $6, exactly $6, um, maybe just a tad bit more because you have to, of course, put glue in it. But the the windmill, and you're actually going to have a piece of ribbon left over that you can stick in your scrap, or you can make a bow and put onto this. So, I'm going to make this one exactly like this because I'm going to be putting this on my front door. Um, so, let's begin putting this together. Okay, so here I just took some hot glue and hot glued the leaves onto it. I kind of bent them down like halfway through the stem and bent it together. Now I'm taking some string and tying it around. This is where the whole mistake came in for me. I just took one rope and tied it around. And for some odd reason, I took rope and wrapped it around the flower, but didn't wrap it around the hoop. I have no idea what I was thinking, as you can see right here. So then I thought, okay, I'll add some hot glue to it and that will make it stay. Well, this is a heavy metal flower. That was obviously not gonna work. But um, anyways, I end up getting it to work. So I finally realized that that wasn't working and I just took string and absolutely tied it all the way around the flower. As you'll see right here, I've run the strings up under the thing so you could barely notice them. Um, you didn't really notice it from the front. You might be able to see one or two strings and I'm just fluffing out the leaves to make sure I had them positioned the way that I wanted them. So at the end, it finally worked out by wrapping it around the flower and the hoop and then tying the knot on the back of it. So it ended up working out perfect. So after you have them all laid out exactly the way that you want them, I think this turned out super duper awesome. And for $6, I think this is a great deal. Um, you would definitely not pay $6 for this in a store. And I think it turned out awesome. If you wanted these to not be just flying away like they are right here, you could definitely take you some hot glue and put it in. But I kind of like the effect of having them like spruced out a little bit just so that they look more natural and more real. Um, in my opinion, everybody has their own opinion, I guess. Um, so I really love this and I think this turned out super good. I love this and this is going to look great on my door for summer because these summers coming up and I think color just out summer. So for less than $6, this looks awesome, guys. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Bye. God bless. Always remember, if you're new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe if you want to see more DIYs like this. Bye, guys.